uh, I'm Dr. Carrie Bernard and I'm a family physician working here in the city of Brampton, Ontario. Um, it's a city that's approximately 40 kilometers northwest of the city of Toronto and I've been practicing here for close to 15 years. Interestingly, this was my teaching practice when I was a resident at the University of Toronto. Brampton used to be a small place and it continues to grow. It's one of the largest um, growing cities um, in Ontario with a population at this point in time of over 500,000. Um, it's suburban, um, busy, but it's also, from a medical perspective, maintains the old family doctor feel. So we have a large hospital. You wouldn't call it a tertiary hospital. It's a community-based hospital, but it does have some tertiary services. But having said that, the family doctors still play a huge role in our hospital. Um, we're still really close with our specialists because we really work together and there's that real networking feel, which is what I love about being here. Um, I have access to all of the high level things that I need, that I would expect to be um, having in a Greater Toronto Area Hospital, yet I still have the feel of working closely with my specialty colleagues. Um, one of the things that residents can expect to have here is an incredible experience um, in emergency medicine. Our emergency department is uh, extremely busy with uh, 173,000 visits per year. Our obstetrical department is also extremely busy with um, 7,600 births per year. This office is a large office. There's 18 um, physicians here. About six of us teach, of the 18, but there's a teaching culture. So um, if anybody has an interesting case, whether they teach or not, they drag the resident down the hall. Most clinicians, the minimum on a full day they would see is 30 a day, and that's really the low end of what they would see. We also have um, clinicians here who um, run a nursing home, run a retirement home. We have a breastfeeding specialist. We have. Um, coroners who work here, we have physicians who are involved in the hospital administration, the Lynn administration, and we also um, have people who do palliative care, rehab medicine um, at the hospital, there, oh, and correctional medicine. We do expect our residents to work full time, five days a week generally. Um, we do usually expect on a two month rotation at least one weekend on call. We would not be expected to carry a pager or come in in the middle of the night, it just means there's weekend work and during that time we cover the nursing home as well. Because we're 30 kilometers from Toronto, we don't really have places for people to stay here, and so you would need to have a car to be able to commute um, to uh, come for this experience. My name is Frank Martino. I'm the Chief of Family Medicine at William Ulcer and also the Director of the Medical Training Program. We're one of the larger community hospitals in the province. Osler uh, has uh, one of the largest obstetrical programs in Ontario as well as probably the busiest emergency department in the country. Uh, we see uh, on this particular site alone at Brampton Civic upwards of 130,000 visits a year and a wide range of presentations including uh, really acutely ill patients that come through our acute area in the emergency department and our trauma base. Uh, residents would have an excellent experience in both those departments uh, probably uh, delivering upwards of 10, 10 to 15 babies a day. So that's quite a fulsome experience. Uh, many of our physicians still do inpatient care, especially in palliative medicine as well as in uh, rehab, slow stream rehab, in our um, uh, medically, medical assessment unit, the MAU, where family doctors rotate at a week at a time. Uh, the residents from McMaster do rotate through that um, uh, department. Uh, they have both an outpatient experience and uh, an inpatient experience, uh, sometimes uh, working with the internal medicine specialist in the emergency department and seeing consults there as well as in the urgent medical clinics in our outpatient department. And uh, we have uh, a group of very engaged pediatricians that love to teach and I think residents would find that out as a, a bonus that they wouldn't have expected, a great experience. Our medical trainee program here at William Osler receives medical students and residents from the various medical schools in Ontario and across the country. Uh, we developed that back in the early 90s and uh, we're still quite proud of the far breadth of, uh, of uh, trainees and learners that do come through our uh, walls and uh, I think most of them will say that they have uh, an excellent community-based experience, uh, seeing some of the real-world problems that uh, uh, challenge physicians in a large community hospital.